I think this event, we're seeing certain teams like Heroic and G2, the teams that if you don't play like them, you're gonna lose all the tournaments the rest of the year. No way! Oh! Yo, yo, welcome to I Am Katowice. It is day three actually of the event, but the group stage starts tomorrow. And right now I'm heading over to Media Day, which is where they shoot all the skits and all the interviews for the rest of the tournament. So let's go. So first thing we're shooting is the dramatic reading of the HLTV forums with Hooksy and JKS. Do you think you have a resting sad face? Resting face? Yeah. Not sad. <laughs> This is like Navi's uh, book of uh, strats. <laughs> Ooh, are you giving us drinks? You can drink some apple juice. This is so interesting. 130 years of Polska Kultura. Kurva. G2 was really tired. They got in like, I don't know, super late. So they only got, I don't know, a few hours of sleep. And now they're doing content all day. Pro player life. And then tomorrow they're playing big. So busy, busy, busy. Uh, next up is Heroic. But Katie isn't feeling well. So it's existence on. So there's a bunch of different sets as always on a media day so here this is called the multi set where you can do multiple different things basically and then this is the photo shoot set which i think liquid is in right now so that's cool let's see oh hello how are you do you like photo shoots yeah hello vlog hello vlog hello yeki <laughs> is the photo shoot set up right Mm -hmm. But now I get to take photos, which is nice. Cool, thank you, thank you so much. Jake. Do you think you're a good model? Uh, probably not. No. Probably not? But this helps a lot, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. You can't do anything wrong, you look great, so. I'm done working and I'm so healthy right now. McDonald's. Uh, ESL gives us these Uber Eats vouchers, which is really cool. You can just order. But usually I eat at the venue though, but it's nice. Anyways, I'm gonna watch the games now and then tomorrow uh, the group stage starts and then I'll see you then. You think I should clean up my room or... Nah. IHC might knock out Furia, no way. Anyway, I was off, but I have to go back to do a content piece with Mouse because basically another team, I don't wanna name, okay, FaZe was late. <laughs> I don't know if it was their own fault though. Um, so Lau had to go because he has to go cast the second series. So I'm gonna go do it. Um, we are asking every IGL that, that's coming into this media day today um, to um, give their opinion on how frustrating it is to play against other IGLs. On the scale of nap time to hair loss. How do I look? Very gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back at the studio. And and I wanted to show you around a little bit, um, particularly where the casters are, so let me find them. I hear Scrawny. Where is he? Maybe here. Butzer finds this kill, which is beautiful. I don't know how that's not a wall bank, but they'll take it. And then I think Perfecto's key trade as well. He finds one on Arch, that loosens up the sight a ton. Celestrator. Celestrator indeed, we have a clip ready for it. They analyze. Oh, nice. It's pretty cool to have a Telestrator and then there is a camera over there. So they have top-down view, so you gotta work a lot with your hands. Vitality's about to win. I think so. <laughs> Apex! Poor Ollie. We're always making the floor dirty. MVP behavior. <laughs> Heku Station. Notes. Look! Mm. Secrets! Shucks, you can sit if you like. Oh, it's okay. Gonna get to see for a long while. Rez with the dig! He had me believing for a moment, but shut down, locked out. It's a Vitality win. Well, there we go. Vitality uh, didn't drop a beat in this one. Two and zero. A comfortable victory against NIP. All right, last time. One really hard. Oh. Got the tape, that's how it's gonna go. Setup here is really, really dope. You can see all the players. In this case, they're behind us, which is kind of cool. But we won't uh, distract them, don't worry. Maybe Mathieu with his charming good looks, but... Hello! How you doing? Are you vlogging, really? Yeah? Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Mongolia stronger than NA. And Brazil. And Brazil! That entire two continents. That's crazy. We don't overreact though over here. What is your favorite map to watch Pro CS on? I think it's a draw between Nuke and Inferno. Nuke and Inferno? Yeah. I think Nuke plays way more open than it used to be. That's kind of fun now because they're 
20 different ways you can play them out on the two sides. I like Haven. <laughs> Haven. I'm kidding, bro. I don't know, I like Mirage. Like small sites I like. You know, you can like hide, sneak, flank. I don't know. But I'm a noob. So. Next, it gives it a oh, first, no, and Fiku old. drops the orb. The door was left open, but you're born in a barn. <laughs> Harry and Hugo are so good. I love listening to them. Actually, I love listening to all of the casters. No, uh, not playing favorites here, but yeah, them in particular. I wish they would get like a big final, major final, Katowice final. Mm -hmm. It's 11:30 p.m. Double overtime. OG has been out of this match like a million times, but they crawled their way back, and they're right behind me. No! Oh! oh my god. Let's go! Oh, 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 they've Hold come it. through the smoke. They've come through oh. the smoke. And he will knock them off that ball. And it wins the clutch. Ties us up at 19 all. Dexter just had an insane clutch. Map point, second OT. What are you doing down there? My secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, legend, legend. How? All of the OTs. All of the OTs. All of the OTs. You can OT, you can OT, you can OT. Nice. They're not shooting much. No, no, no. Yeah. Nice, boys. <laughs> not to yeah. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Nice, good fight. Nice, go! Nice, Hey, guys, I'm about to head to the studio for day two of groups where I'm doing the last um, best of three of the day, and it's Team Liquid versus Navi, so super hyped for that. But I wanted to take a minute to, I don't know, just talk to you for a second. Something that's been on my mind and which I've talked about on my socials a little bit. Um, but in general, the last couple of weeks, I want to say, but specifically when I got to this event, things have been really, really difficult for me. Um, as you may or may not know, I have very heavy sleeping issues like insomnia that I've had for ever since I was four years old uh, as well as night terrors and sleep paralysis and all that shit but I've gotten it under control to a certain degree but it's just gotten really bad recently and um I just kind of realized recently that ever since I lost my mom at the end of 2021 I just have never allowed myself to stop down and really get through those emotions and give them a place because uh because I've just been like working 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 because I was like okay if I work then I don't have to think about this um and on the other hand I've been struggling a lot with working a lot because I feel like I don't know I'm letting a lot of things get to me uh, like there's a big part of communities that is harassing me saying that I'm too old um, and that I don't you know that I shouldn't be doing the job that I do even though I feel from a professional standpoint that last year was the best year I've ever had in terms of the work that I was able to do um, I feel more creative than ever I'm more involved in the productional process than ever I feel like a great mentor I think um, that my on-air performance and the way I can put inflection points and in broadcasts be it um, you know facilitate facilitating the analysts or story building uh, as well as just skits is good so it's so weird because I felt on top of the world career-wise but emotionally in the deepest pit of despair by the end of last year and now I kind of just feel like in the deepest pit of despair both ways and yeah I don't know where I'm getting at um, but I don't know I tried to speak out on it um, on my social sometimes and I get a lot of like oh what the fuck what do you have to be sad about and stuff like that so then I just don't say anything about it but I don't know if you ever see me be having like an off day or maybe lashing out a little bit or whatnot that's just what it is um, but yeah the world keeps on turning and we keep on going and that being said it's time to go to work This, this is CS. Yeah. This is insane. And they'll close it. JKS makes it work 16 14 yet again. G2 takedown phase on this map. There is too much to break down right now, but it's G2 one map up. That's one of the best games of Nuke I've ever seen, and that's only the first map of this series. We have so much more counter strike to come. Thoughts of the panel after the break. Wow. If G2 wins here, I gotta go on pretty fast for Team Liquid versus Navi. Daniel. G2 win. Fucking impressive. So this is, on Reddit, people were wondering what it was. What is a haku? It's a hand warmer. A hand warmer. So usually it consists of two pieces, two same pieces, and they magnetize, so you can detach them and you can hold them. Ah. This one right now is on max. Ah! 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 Ah!
Inters wasn't the problem. You sure you want to send the vlog? Inters wasn't the problem. <laughs> okay, you don't give a fuck. Damn, that's one map down. I was oh, supposed geez. to be watching this game. Yeah, you were. Did you see the Kinder Ace at least? I did, I did it changed the tide of the game. Dude, like, I can't believe they... They even had a shitty first half. They like, came back and beat out nine. Yeah, they had... They beat Comeback 9. Come back, come back. They IHC you later them. They see you later, yeah. Wow. They annihilated them. They <laughs> keep it up, guys. Just keep it up. Get the puns coming. They hit 16 on the score. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, That's yeah. enough. Okay, that's enough. That's <laughs> okay, we got another update from the food at the venue. First off, we got Harry. Hello. Who is a vegan? Vegetarian. Oh, vegetarian. Sorry. I don't want to claim what I look at this, but I do claim have, what you eat. I do have a vegan soup today. So okay. for today, for today, I'm vegan. I see. Right. But the thing I wanted to focus on is the the snacky things because they're amazing. Skittles, raspberry, creme brulee, which I'm for sure gonna have. Oh, go ahead. Don't worry. <laughs> Fruit, candy, cucumber, bruschetta. Oh my god, the Italians are gonna get mad at me. Bruschetta. Fruit, of course. Whoa bars, which I really like. I guess ketchup. I mean, it's amazing. My favorite chips. Ten out of ten. It's not like he's got a million ways to win it. I don't want to give it. One. <laughs> Double? Why are you? No way! Oh! <laughs> Bro, but why don't they face him together, man? They serve it up on a platter, That's though. Too good. That's too good. Watching Vitality with Maniac is a, it's like Netflix. It's really great, especially when they lose. But. Vitality are on 13, so we're going to the desk. The box needs to get taped, Ollie. Yeah, for safety. Ah, you don't so want Bliff flying off. Let's do groups. Maui, what's been the most interesting thing about the group stage? Complexity, one game away from making it to playoffs. They're gonna do it. Okay. My favorite thing about the group stage, like story wise. Uh, story wise, a couple things grab onto here, maybe some hope from an A, but also big picture. I do love the setup over there where everyone's in the same room. Yeah, now it doesn't have to be so corporate. Is there anything else you like? Me? Yeah, in general. In life, maybe? <laughs> no, I'm trying to quit. Lau and I are going to judge the games in the playroom. And the Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so we've got. What are you doing? Signing these codex cards. Are you still sick? Yeah. Oh. I guess we'll Is, are you recording a vlog? Yeah. <laughs> Look, these duos. Two hot duos. Me and Keserato. Yeah. And me and Lund. Lund? Lund. Is that what you call him? Yes, Lund. Good. Sick, but still destroyed vitality. That, that's. <laughs> that's... You want to play some air hockey? Sure, air hockey. What would you give this out of 10 as a game? I think I would give it a, an 8. 8? I think there's some luck involved. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can have an arrow. Yeah. Shall we do it? I give it a 0 out of 10 because I lost. Okay, you want to play Jits? Mm, no, I want to play ping pong, I think. Okay, let's play ping pong. Oh, what do you think of table tennis, actually? My favorite. Really? I think it's better than regular tennis. But you can't play. <laughs> really? And now we have... Uh, Pinball for a pinhead. People love... I don't understand why people love this game so much. I'll tell you why I love this game so much. Is it a thing so in much. Europe? Yeah. So I grew up kind of in a bar. Okay. And like the most degenerate types would be on these. Like the bar would open at 9.30 or like 9. And they would be on this with a beer in hand. So you're saying you fit it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that's where I got it from. Anyways, uh, can you give me your hottest takes about Katowice? My hottest takes about Katowice, uh, I think this event, we're seeing certain teams like Heroic and G2 are going to be like the teams that if you don't play like them, you're going to lose all the tournaments the rest of the year. Ooh. I think teams like... Uh, How are they playing? The way that uh, Heroic take map control where they don't leave any space. Teams like Vitality, they give space up and they play very natural rotations, but I think they're going to become more and more obvious. And I think this is the year where those teams aren't going to win anything at all. I got some big old bank of meat. Oh, hey. <laughs> It's chicken. Someone yesterday said that chicken is the chocolate of the earth. Uh, it was Harry. Thanks said that. Oh, Banks. Oh, and the Colex. I was like, certainly chocolate is the chocolate of the earth. Uh, yeah, sure. Are other things that you can find in the cocoa plant? No comment. What I'm almost more interested in is how disappointed they should look after this. Because like this is, they were supposed to make it through. Like they looked like they were coming into the season. Right? Yeah, thanks, Captain Obvious. Phase will be disappointed that they're not in the no, playoffs. I've got to be. You know, I want to see God, it on their faces. I want to see it on their faces. <laughs> <you know? sighs> Maui, the dream's dead. I know what. 
complexity. The dreams also may be dead. What? What are you talking about? Fine. You're gonna win the half. Eight seven on CT side. That's great. You want to make sure you look good for uh, any supremacy? Yeah. Oh my God! It's match point actually. What the fuck? No! Oh my God! No, let's go! Woo! Holy! <gasps> what just happened? Liquid mold. What? That's crazy. Good job. <laughs> you happy about liquid? Uh, yeah, of course. Big fan of liquid. Always believed they were gonna be face today, but no one listened to me. You so. always hated liquid, true. dude. Yeah, what are you talking about? You're like a cloud nine guy. Stuff off me. All right, doing G2 Navi now. These guys. Oh wow, G2 is really crushing them. They are. It's like a boxing game, and they got Navi in the ropes. And <laughs> again and again and again and again and again. Do you think G2 is gonna win Katowice? I think G2 heroic would be a fucking firework of a grand final. That's why. Would I be. I would love to get that. G2 is winning again versus Navi. Keeps happening. Okay, I'm uploading my footage, so um, G2 is winning. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. The whole thing. No. Um, yeah. Yeah, Yanko's seal of approval. They're winning the whole thing. Anyways, thanks yeah. for watching the <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for watching the vlog. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe. Exactly. Notifications and watch every video. And follow us on all socials because we're the best. No, seriously. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in playoffs. Mm -hmm.